Welcome. All right, so what I'd like to do is show you how to graph this ellipse, um, as well as determine the vertices, co-vertices, foci, and the center. Now, the first thing I notice is this equation has to be set equal to 1 for us to be able to find those values. So the first thing I need to do is I need to get this 4 out of the way. So I'm going to divide by 4 on both sides. Make sure you need to divide by 4. This 4 divides into both of these terms. So therefore, I can really write this as x minus 3 squared divided by 4 plus y squared divided by 4 equals 1. And the issue that comes in with this is you could say that, huh, very interesting, that my a and my b are exactly the same. That means the distance from the vertices to the covertices is going to be exactly the same. So therefore, this ellipse is actually going to be a circle. Very good. Um, and you can also see that you know, when you have uh, when you have it like that, you can see that my radius would be uh, the square root of 4, which would be 2, which we're going to take a look at anyways. Um, but let's just go ahead and solve this. So since our a and b are going to be the same, we can call them our r, which would be our r squared. And notice that 4 is going to equal r squared. So r equals 2. Um, however, this form, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared Um, equals 1, that is still going to remain the same. So we can now determine our center is still going to be opposite of h, opposite of k. You can see there's no k, so that's going to be 0. So my center is going to be opposite of um, x, opposite of 3, so that's going to be uh, positive 3 and positive 3, 0. So I'm going to go and plot this. I'm going to say 1, 2, 3. What am I doing? Yeah, 3, 0. And then we know it has a radius of 2, so I'm going to go over 2, up 2, down 2. All right. And um, since there's no major you know, vertices, these are all just kind of points on our line. But we can all go ahead and label these. So it would be 3, comma, negative 2, 5, comma, 0. Um, 3, comma, 2, and 1, comma, 0. Um, if we are going to go ahead and subtract these to find c squared as far as our foci, we notice our foci are 0. And that's going to be something we're going to talk about when we get into eccentricity and so forth. But in the end, this produces a circle. Um, so therefore, these are all just going to be points on the graph. They're not really vertices, co-vertices, because they're all equal in length. Um, but we can go ahead and label those points, make sure we notice that it is a circle and a circle with a center. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph a circle. Thanks.